Fried Hartman. It's a place where we can all feel safe and comforted. A place where we don't have to feel like we need to lock our doors at night. But is it really that safe place? You know, here recently a lot of things have been going on around campus. Stuff being stolen, people being beat up. And there's really only one explanation for it. Bears. Have I seen the bear? Have, have everybody seen the bear? Multiple times. I don't know what's going on, but there's these bears everywhere and it's scaring me. So many things have happened over the past week, month. I have a new car now. It got broken into. Everything was stolen. My iPod, iPod connector to the US, not USB, the cigarette lighter thing connected in there. That was stolen. Got a new haircut. I don't know how that happened. Bear, maybe? When I signed up for this school, they didn't tell me it was going to be bears. Blake did not tell me it was going to be bears. Up here. I do not like bears. I got a new folder for Billy Smith's class. You know why? Jacked. Got it jacked. Probably by a bear. I had my iPod stolen by a bear. I was just sitting in my car and I saw a little paw reach across and grab it. Yeah, they're trying to cover it up. I've seen the bear. He's huge. His teeth are huge. So I was walking back from, De from Devo the other day. All of a sudden a bear jumps out from the tree and attacks my girlfriend. Just puts her on the ground. I don't know what was going on, so I ran away. I haven't seen her since, hopefully she's okay. Yes, there are bears on campus. Check out the brace. It's not a good situation to be in. I would say Osama, um, Obama, whatever his name is. I think that his influence has changed Frieda Hardeman's campus, and I think that Joe Wiley is a liar. Joe, Joe Wiley told me that bears don't exist. He told me they're mythical creatures. And that's not true. Now you've taken an active role in uh, communicating to students that there are bears on campus, right? Right. Currently I've started a group called uh, the Facebook group for people who are against bears on Fried Hardman's campus and I, I really think everyone should join. It, it is a pressing issue. I started organizing these rallies because I got tired of the, the lies, really. I got tired of people saying there's no bears on campus when there are. Bears are scary! Hey, bears. Yes, bears are scary! Yes, bears are scary! We decided it was time to do something. It's been undercover all this time. No one's been talking about it. Someone's got to talk about it. Bears are scary! They've been killing us! They've been hurting many people! I don't know if anybody gets away! I hate bears! That was a bear attack! That bear live right there! Gun. You think that happened from rugby, you're wrong! I'm gonna keep organizing these rallies and keep uh, making people aware of the fact we have bears until uh, Fried Hardman decides to do something about it. There's a bear! There's just a bear right now, somewhere around us. I don't know. Oh, he, he just got eaten. Eaten. Eaten's improper. You know, it happens every day. He's, yeah, he's dead. The students are saying that there are bear attacks. What can you say about this? Well, we've had a few reports of bear attacks, but really nothing's been proven. We haven't seen anything. Officially, there are no bears on campus. Unofficially? Officially. You know, there's a rumor going around that there are bears on Fred Hardeman's campus and we faculty are supposed to deny it, but I don't know, I mean, I think I see one. The official word is no, but I've seen it because I've seen droppings everywhere. All in the last prayer, everywhere. I don't know where he is. Somebody need to catch him. Well, personally, I think that there's some bear people on the campus, some of them even streak. And, um, and the reason they're doing that is they're scared. And why are they scared? I barely know why. My name's Craig Canahan. I'm the go-to guy when it comes to this bear business. I've had lots of encounters with that bear. I've got footage, footage of the bear. That bear attacked me when I was filming it once. You'll know what it did. Shot that viewfinder right through my eye. I'm gonna show y'all footage of the bear in action. He was in the bookstore buying those keeper trappers or whatever you call them these days, you kids. And... Did you see the evil in his eyes? I did and I've only got one. Now I'm showing you this because I want you kids to be safe. Here's some tips. The interweb, you might not believe it, 
but the bears are on the interweb Facebook groups. Don't give out your username or password. There's lots of fraudulent people sending stuff, pretending like they're from the FHUI tech team. Well, guess what? They ain't. Put a lockdown on your doors. You might think you could just hear a bear coming. They weigh 475,000 pounds. All right, that was just an estimate. They weigh about an average of 1,200 pounds. And they're graceful. They can sneak up on you. When you're out there trying to get your exercise, whatever you kids call it these days, don't be going around running. Just wear normal clothes when you go. You don't want to do anything that might attract the bears. Don't go running with beef jerky or bologna or any kind of meat, sandwich meats. Use your noggin. Bears are crazy. You ain't safe anymore. The bears are taking over everything with hip hop music. from everything that's got bear associated with it. You ain't safe here. Just cause you're at Freed Hardeman University. So won't you do me a favor and just, just keep it safe around campus. Be nice kids, be nice Christian kids and just be weary of the bears. They're everywhere, just be reluctant. Let me check my, my dictionary on that word. Don't be reluctant to call. Security at 989 Oreo if you see one of these bears. Because you never know when you might lose something that's precious to you.